Susan Tyler runs Icy Straits Lumber and Milling with her husband, Wes. Right now, there is a lot up in the air because, you know, they want to stop all old growth harvesting. Mm -hmm. So that, of course, that would eliminate us from, you know, harvesting any. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. And you don't want to keep investing in equipment when you don't know what the future holds. And it's hard to go after another timber sale because... You don't know what's in that timber sale. As there's less timber available, of course, um, you have to gear your operation around, you know, how much you're going to be able to to supply. You know, we had to, do, you know, cut back. Yeah. We're trying to develop other products. So we have developed boxes and uh, plaques and signs. The company is also considering a switch to harvesting younger, smaller trees regrown from old, clear-cut forests following policy changes. You know, we would like to retool for uh, mm. smaller wood gotcha. and be ready for the second growth. I mean, when we second initially, growth. yes, okay. when we initially set up our operation, it was set up with the idea that we could transition into second growth okay. as soon as the second growth became available. Right. Because in these cabins, in these packages, um, it, it doesn't always take big wood, but you do have to have the right tooling for it. Okay. So, you know, we have to retool. Uh, it just has come a lot sooner than we had okay. anticipated. Reed Harris is a Juno furniture maker who sources much of his wood from Icy Straits Lumber and Milling. It's a completely Alaskan process. The only things that don't come from Alaska are the finish and uh, the fasteners, the screws that hold everything together. One of the unique things that Northern Edge Craftworks has been doing, we had this idea because we kind of wanted our pieces of wood to tell a story and each piece comes from a very unique part of Alaska and uh, our lumberman carries a GPS unit with him and uh, when he delivers the slabs to us I get the GPS coordinates for that tree. Whoever um, ends up with this table can pull up say Google Earth or a similar mapping program and they can see exactly the point where that tree originated and I think that's a really cool thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a real pleasure to work with um, trees and slabs of wood out of southeast Alaska here. Uh, we threw Sheer abundance and also now more responsible management of our forests in recent years still have wood like this mm -hmm. where if you go down to the, the traditional timber areas, Northern California, Pacific Coast, Washington, Oregon, things like that, um, these trees are all extinct. They're gone. All those forests were logged 50, 60, 100 years ago. It's a product from here and we don't produce a whole lot here. Southeast Alaska is very much an import That's economy. Right. So it's nice to be able to use our local resources and create finished goods and eventually we'll hopefully get large enough we'll be able to start shipping them out of Southeast Alaska. Mm -hmm.